An effective indexing strategy is really, really important for application uh, performance, especially when you're working with very large data sets. But unfortunately, we see many developers only start to consider performance later in the development process. So what if you could anticipate your query performance and optimize your strategy before there's ever a problem? MongoDB has a number of different types of indexes, but here we'll talk about two of the most common ones. So one question you might ask yourself is, are you only querying on a single field in your collection? If that's the case, then you're probably going to be OK with a single field index. Or do you sometimes, for your application use case, need to query on multiple fields? When that's the case, you might want to think about a compound index. Compound indexes can introduce a little bit more complexity, but we have a helpful guideline for this called the ESR rule that can be good to remember. With compound indexes, the ordering of your index keys is very important. And ESR stands for equality first, sort next, and range last. One thing that MongoDB offers that can help you with optimizing your queries and your indexes is an explain plan. And what an explain plan does is it returns information on your query plans and execution statistics of your query scans. In general, as Shelby said, you should have an index for your queries if they're important. But if your write volume is significantly higher than your read volume, you want to be careful. You don't want to just index everything blindly. This is because although indexes speed up reads, they do unfortunately slow down writes in some scenarios. This doesn't mean that we shouldn't index at all when our applications are write heavy, as our application is, um, but we should be smart about the indexes that we do build. Typically, our advice is that you should index on high cardinality fields. High cardinality fields are fields with multiple options for values. The reason that we do this is that the more options there are, the more selective the index results will be. Um, this means that when you're scanning through an index, you're looking through fewer and fewer uh, fields and keys, and as a result, queries are just quicker. The first thing I'm going to do is use explain and compass to understand my query performance. The first thing that I do is upload my, uh, I have a favorited query, and that's saved in compass already, and I find my uh, outdoor query, and I'm loading it into Compass's query bar, which is just like a visual query bar. Um, and I've reformatted it just so I can see all of the fields in one place. Compass has an explain button, and it shows you the visual explain plan. So here I can see uh, there's like a nice query performance summary to the right. What you have here is an image of the MongoDB Atlas query profiler. And what you're seeing is query execution time on the y-axis and on the x-axis the last 12 hours for two different namespaces. And there's like a really high dot that's over two seconds and then many, many dots that are over 200 milliseconds. So these are a lot of pretty slow queries and not at all what you would want to see for an end user facing application in production. So you can avoid ever having to see a graph like this if you consider your query and index strategy in advance. And MongoDB tools like Compass and Shell can help. So I hope you'll give them a try.